Hi everyone, Robin Cunningham. This is Ask NCM. We've got a question that's kind of been around for a while. Uh, what is NCM's uh, opinion for or against having BDCs as costs are continue to rise? Well, I, I'm in the camp with a lot of people, Alan Ram, uh, Jared Hamilton, a lot of people that say, uh, you know, the one thing about a BDC is we don't want to have it in place as a failure in training in general. Because one of the things that, that makes a lot of sense to me is even if you do have a BDC where somebody is taking inbound phone calls or inbound internet leads and they're passed to the salespeople, the majority of those customers do not buy first time. So when they leave, and hopefully we get you know, to have them become a BBAC, that one of the main reasons is the closing ratio then becomes 50% of those people coming back. Our salespeople are need to be, uh, you know, working with those people either on the phone or on the internet. And so the training in the dealership, whether it's a retail salespeople having been passed appointments from a BDC uh, or uh, taking them themselves inbound, and I know it's different at every dealership, we've got to have this level of training out there. So that, that's my opinion on that. Uh, there's people say, now some people believe that a service BDC is even more important than a variable BDC because we don't have as many choices. You know, our service advisors are swamped and, and, and we're, you know, many of them are taking inbound service calls on top of the calls coming in from their own customers that are at home or work. Uh, that, that they're, and they're working with 15 people per day. So having a, a, a BDC, a service BDC, somebody who can take those calls, uh, slow the customer down, find out more about them, there's so much to do. But everybody needs to be trained across the board, fixed or variable. So in that sense, I'd, I'd guess say uh, there is definitely a need for someone doing other than an advisor, other than salespeople, to be answering certain types of phone calls, certain types of, of e-leads. Uh, please send your questions to AskNCM at ncmassociates.com. Thanks.